Good afternoon guys, Captech here bringing another video on getting back to basics. So today, real quick, shouldn't take that long, today's a video on how to add a printer that you're trying to add for the first time. So I'm going to go over this real quick. So if you have Windows 7, you will go to devices and printers. You will go to add a printer. You will go to, so if it's a local printer, um, you will add it here. You will do comp one and then hit next. Then here you will select the name of the printer. It could be a HP Dell and then you select the model and then you hit next, next, next. And then that's about it. But I want to add a printer I have right here. Actually, I have a Lexmark printer. So I want to see if that printer shows up for me on this computer, on this desktop. So I'm turning that on right now. It should come up shortly. Um, I, I already added it on my on my uh, Windows 10 machine, but I, I want to go over it anyway just to show you how to add the printer. So if it's on the network, which basically means it's connected to the internet, you're going to have to go back to add a printer. And then you go to add a network wireless Bluetooth printer. And then the printer should show up on the list. The printer isn't showing up for me. It's be probably because it's not on yet. So let's just give that a second. Still trying to come back on. Still not, still not up yet, not yet. Still thinking about it. All right, now it's on. It might show up, it might not show up. We'll see if it does show up. So if you can't find the printer you're looking for, you basically will go into the printer wasn't listed or isn't listed. Um, this is, gets a little tricky for someone that doesn't know anything about IT or computers. But basically you want to put the IP address of a printer. Which basically means you put the, 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 the ID or the IP. So basically a computer gets an, a unique ID. And that, that ID you'll put it here. So it could be like 10 dot, 10 dot one whatever, 10 dot what two or whatever so I'll give you an example of that so if you go here in the start menu type CMD and type IP config the IP would be 10.0.2.15 so the printer will have a unique ID like that it will be it will be IPv4 and it'll have a unique ID and you would just put that in here basically and then you will add it here and that's basically how you will add the printer but if it doesn't show up you could just add it this way so you put printer is not listed TCP IP, you have to figure out what the network of the printer is. So I'm going into my settings to see what we have here. To see if this works 192.168.1.223. Let me see if it finds it. Should it should find it? It should try to add that Lexmark printer on this computer. If it doesn't add it, it's fine, but it should add it. See, it's trying to add it right now. So you know it's you know that you're able to see the printer or able to communicate with the printer because it's actually trying to add it right now. So it's adding itself right now. Give that a second. Actually, while we wait for that, since it's downloading the printer and everything, let me just go over how to add a printer on Windows 10. So it's pretty much the same thing. You would just type here in the search menu, you would type devices and printers and scanners will pop up and you hit add a printer. And 
you see the printers already here. Printer is not listed. Then you could you could actually add the printer here to IP address like I did before, and then you hit next. You put the name, and then you hit next, 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 and and it should add it. But if you if you want the if you want the classic devices and printers like the way this looks here, uh, you have to go to the control panel. So you could just t type control panel. Uh, I believe you could right click on it, and you could go into settings and just type control panel here it's a couple ways to do it actually so this way you can add it here and you just hit view devices and printers it'll show up here see the printers already added already I have it here you see it's already there if you want to set up this you want to set the printer up as a default printer all you do is just right click and then you set as default printer and hit OK and it will have a green check mark next to it and that basically means that every time you print something from Excel something from Word something from PowerPoint something from Outlook it will be the default printer it will automatically select that printer and then basically you're able to print using that printer and that's basically what that is if you find yourself having issues with a printer the best way to troubleshoot it is simply by removing it so if you remove the device and hit yes and then you you just remove it you remove the printer and then re-add it again that usually that usually fixes the fixes issues with printers usually Normally, it, it right away it fixes it fixes the printer. So if you, you have to install it again, that usually fixes any any weird issues you have with with printers. It usually solves it right away. You shouldn't have any issues. Um, all right. So it's in, still in, still installing right now. This one is still stuck on installing. It's there now. If you see, it's it's installing the software. It's using the internet to install the software that comes with the printer. And then that's about it. That's how you add a printer. And, and if you find yourself that the printer printer still doesn't work, I would probably just restart your computer. You usually fall. That's like the last resort. You shouldn't have to restart your computer. There's other things you could do that, that someone from IT would know how to do. Like they would restart the print spooner. Um, they, would, they would remove and add the printer. They would, they would restart the printer. Maybe there's something wrong with the printer. They would restart the printer. Um, and then uh, that's about it. And then also they would try to ping the printer, which basically means they want to see if they're able to talk or connect to that printer. So they would, someone from IT, someone from IT or someone that knows IT would, will go to the start menu and, and uh, actually type CMD. And then they type CMD and then basically they open this bu this black box here, and then they want to know if they're able to talk to the printer. They would just type ping, and then they will put the name of the uh, the name of the number of the printer one one six eight. Dot. Double check again. Make sure I'm putting the right one. One six eight. Dot one dot two two three dot one dot two two three, and if you're able to ping the printer, that basically means that the printer is in the network, and basically means that the printer is in the network, and the printer is able to talk to your computer, and you're able to add it, and you should be able to print from it, and then that's about it. So I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and um, rate, comment, subscribe. Take care. Bye.